Hello, I'm Matt, and welcome to Badger Workshop. So hopefully in last week's video, I got this put together. So we're kind of stepping back in time a bit. If not, I'm looking silly now. Anyway, this is incredibly heavy, and it still hasn't got the tables on, so there's no way I'll be able to lift it then. So I need to make a base, and I'm gonna get that done while it's still half together, and I can lift it. So let me show you what I've got. So I hope it's not too loud in here with the rain. I'm in the garage with a metal roof and it's raining quite hard. Anyway, because this is so heavy, I want a really sturdy base for it. So I've picked up some reclaimed scaffold boards and these are not just ordinary ones, they're 63 mil thick. So they're nearly twice as thick as a standard scaffold board. So these are gonna be incredibly strong. So I think two boards would be enough just to support the planer. But I'm thinking three boards will make a nice big work table, so I'm going to do that. And it's also going to give me a bit of space for some dust collection. So the first job is to get all these metal bands taken off and the nails pulled out. With that done on all three of the boards, I can get them all taken into the workshop where my old planer is. So now I get one surface and one edge planed on all the boards. Then I can reconfigure the machine and get them all thicknessed, bringing them all down to the same size. I want the tabletop to be 1200mm long, so I get the boards marked out a little oversized and then I can cut them down using the mitre gauge and the table saw. So I want to build in a dust collection port into the tabletop and I'm going to angle it just to help direct the dust a bit. So I get the blade tilted over to the maximum I can to actually cut through this wood and make the cuts. So the two bits in the center need the second edge cleaning up and I do that on the table saw. The boards that are going to go on the outside don't need it and I want to keep the original markings on the boards. So here you can see how it's all going to go together with a hole in the center for the dust to go down. So the idea of that angle cutout is to enable some dust collection. On that old machine, there is no facility for dust collection whatsoever. So that hole hopefully will go right under the machine and I've got a port that I'll either just fit under it or maybe do some kind of shoot. I'm gonna worry about that when I get it a bit more together and see how it's gonna work. So it's the wrong way up at the moment. It would go underneath, but you can see the port fits perfectly there. I'm gonna join this together using some biscuits. So I mark out when they need to go and I just put a little mark to remind me of the order the boards go into. Then I can get all the slots cut with the biscuit joiner. I get some PVA wood glue, apply to the edges of the boards and spread out and then I can get the biscuits put into place. These are some larger number 20 size biscuits. The boards can now all get pushed together and I get some clamps on and I can leave it to dry. So as I say, this is the top of the table, but I need a base as well. So I get a few more boards clamped up, but this time with no hole in, and that's gonna be the base. I leave both pieces overnight to dry, and then the next day the clamps come off and I can use the track saw to trim off the ends, cutting it to its final dimensions. Unfortunately my track saw doesn't cut quite deep enough so I just had to finish off the cuts with a handsaw. I gave both pieces a sand down going up to 120 grit and then I can get them taken back into the garage. I can get the half built planer put into place now and even without the tables on I can barely lift the thing. So I got that hole put in for dust collection, but I need another one to accommodate the drive belt. I mark out where the slot's gonna need to go, and then I can use a forstner bit to drill a hole at either end.
I use a pencil to join up those two dots and then I can take my jigsaw and cut along those lines. I use a half round rasp to clean up the holes, but I'm going to put a cover on so you'll never see it anyway. Whilst I have the plane in place, I drill out the holes so I can get it bolted to the tabletop. So I have the tabletop made and the base, but I need some legs to join them together. And what I've got uh, is some of these cast iron ones. So let's get them set up. These have holes in and they get connected together with some joining rods and bolts. They can be put around either way, but I like the casting marks, so I'm going to have those on the outside. This is upside down, but you can see there's a couple of holes and that's to attach it to the tabletop. But as I want a base as well, I need to put some holes in this. So I use a punch to mark it out and then drill a pilot hole and then an eight mil hole. So the base is bare cast iron and needs painting. And I've been umming and ahhing whether to go for gray or black, the same gray as the planer or black, so it looks a bit different. And I really can't decide, but I think I'm gonna go with the gray and hope I've made the right choice. So I'll get it taken outside and wash it down with some hot soapy water to get any grease off and then leave it to dry in the sun. Then I can get a couple of coats of the gray hammerite paint on. I leave the paint overnight to dry and then the next day I can look at getting it all installed. So I flip the top over and get the base put on. Then I can drill out the holes to get it mounted. I don't hate my drill, it's just they have temperamental micro switches and it needs a little bit of persuasion to get it to work. Anyway, I want the bolts recessed under the table. So I can get this bit of wood clamped over the holes I drilled through the table and then use a forstner bit to drill down about 10 mil. As the forstner bit normally relies on the point in the center to guide it, this little jig just helps. I can then get the holes drilled for the base and then it's time for some finish. And I want this to be hard wearing, so I'm gonna go for some of this Treetex hard wax oil. I apply a coat, leave it for about 10 minutes, wipe off any excess, and then repeat after a few hours. I want this to be mobile, so I've got some heavy duty casters, and I've got them in silver and red, so they kind of match the paint job. I get the holes drilled out, same way as before, then I can get some bolts in, and the casters on, and everything tightened up. With the casters on, I can then get the base bolted down and the whole thing lifted off the trestles onto the floor. The top can now get put back into place, the bolts all put through the holes and tightened up. Now the same thing for the actual planer. Into place, some longer bolts through because it's got to go through the casting and tightened up. And then I could actually finish getting this planer put together, as you saw in the last video. So I think we'll say that's the base done for now and it moves around nice and easily and it's a good working height. I'm now pleased I went for the grey paint for the base and I think the cast iron legs are in keeping with the vintage machine. So that's the table done. Now I've just got to get the motor mounted, blades put in, it all wired up and Oh, dust collection, a oh, bit of a list. Anyway, we'll get that all done next time and hopefully have this up and running. So thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, and please subscribe for more videos.